After that, draw a skipping line in the center of which now we are going to draw a oval here if we draw a flamingo bird now we draw a standing line here for the legs from here a slanting line like this So this is the part of flamingo's stomach. Here is flamingo's one leg, and here is flamingo's second leg. Now we are going to draw neck of flamingo. Just hold your pencil here. Take outer side turn and inside. I'm going to repeat the neck part. You hold your pencil on the oval. Take outside turn. Take outside slanting line. That is also okay. Take a small turn and slanting line inside. Now we are going to draw a second line for neck Hold your pencil on the oval just to downside here take a slanting line same like previous line take a small turn take one more slanting line So second line is little bit small than first line. I'm going to repeat next. Just hold your pencil on the oval. Take a slanting line, take a small turn, and one more slanting line inside. Same one more line. Hold your pencil downside on the oval. Take a slanting line out the side. Take a turn. and this slanting line comes in inner side 
second slanting line is little bit small now we are going to draw u shape over here everyone listen just just i'm going to draw a oval here eyes part and down side we are going to draw big like this i'm giving we are going to finish stomach from this oval part you take a slanting line outer side and do through two three lines inside outside and join this down side line now we are going to erase this oval and this side oval the top of the oval you hold your pencil and again take two three lines like down and up like this down side here flamingo stomach is there so we take a line from down side a small line स्लोली स्लोली फ्लैमिंग गो कम आउट from the shape of oval now we are going to take small bumpety lines here up down lines like this you can draw all these lines randomly now we are going to draw legs the first legs which one we draw in a standing line yes draw one more line yes for the part of legs first we draw a standing line 
then one more standing line here randomly in the middle we draw like this curve line to this curve lines just erase that standing lines inside the curve like this make that two three lines randomly any how standing slipping slanting second leg we'll draw one more line here again on this bend we take turn lines like this c and opposite c erase inside lines draw here two three random lines and your flamingo is complete now we are going to erase this lines inside of leg and inside of neck on this tipping line we are going to draw some bushes with the help of compass line like this some compass lines are small some are big here is a small tree which is very far and comes to the downside part so here we are going to draw some water like this just a wavy lines small big kiss inside of the water again here is water now just extend your legs little bit legs are also inside of water draw your circles like this and then we are going to draw some circles over here now two three lines inside of water our picture is finished 
now start outlining the picture in this picture first we are going to outline flamingo a simple lumpy line in the stomach like this bushes lines again up down lines for the tail a small shape of tail and the stomach part now let's standing line a small curve again standing line standing line so a small curve again standing line randomly two three lines inside plant line for the second leg small curve line again stand line water waves bushes Slipping line. While doing outlining, do it slowly and perfectly on pencil work. Water. no need to outline for tree i repeat no need to outline for the tree outline for border lines After outlining, if anywhere your pencil lines is there, you can erase that pencil line with the eraser properly. Now I'm giving you two minutes to complete. After that, we start coloring.
very fast we are going to finish this bushes so half of the part we are going to move it to the light green color this side and down side we are going to use dark green color clear okay. color in a standing way like this we are going to finish our bushes i repeat first row outline it gives you good finishing feel this color in a standing way if you feel your color in a standing way while finishing second color the shading is coming out and it looks very pretty After that, this is a sap green color. I'm using this color outside of light green. I'm doing just outline with this color. Like this. and just have a look no need to do it first you just have a look what i am doing i am taking light blue color i am doing very slowly in a standing line top side see i am not going to press the color after that I am using purple color, same like blue. I am using this purple color here. This purple color is little bit going inside of blue. Then I am using color with थोड़ा सा purple के अंदर जा रहा है. then i'm using orange first to listen this part then we'll go ahead and here i'm using yellow then again i'm using this sap green color very lightly and mix in the yellow Now everyone is clear with this. Now we are going to start. First, we are going to take light blue color and do it. Then pink. orange
again i am using sap green color which green you are using here that green you are going to use very lightly in a standing way Now for the tree, you are going to take brown color. Outline the brown color. And peel it without pressing. Very lightly you are going to peel this brown Then take dark green color Outline Just peel dark green color in a standing way. You can put some lines over here. Nice. With the brown color, I am going to outline the stem of tree first. Then, going to peel your color, same brown. Now, we are going to start stomach of flamingo. Here we need pink and orange color. Little bit light red color and white color. I repeat for the flamingo coloring. We want orange, pink, white, and light red. If you don't have light red, you can use skin color also. Ma'am, what to do? Okay, you do one thing. Where I am doing white now, you just leave white page. Ma'am. Yes. Is this light red? Uh, okay. Let's start. This up down color. Down of this up down, we are filling orange color. Just a border with orange. There you are going to outline with the orange color. After that, we are taking pink color and outline for the down part like this.
this bumper tail lines part upper side we are doing pink color and mix with the orange here like this now i'm doing pink color for the neck one side orange color for the second side this down side of stomach we are using orange color like this now i'm doing two three lines now i'm done two three lines with the orange color here Now I'm taking white color and going to peel in this orange colors in between in between of orange pink everywhere like this down side little bit orange color and upper side I'm doing pink If you saw properly whole flamingos outside we are covered with the colors and some inside parts we are leaving for white color so whole inside part we are going to fill with white color while doing white color little bit shade comes out with the orange and pink because we done border with that colors and it looks very good yellow ochre and brown color for the same first we are going to peel yellow ochre color for the legs somewhere randomly and somewhere we are going to use brown color where we be remaining white color of the page now take light red color and do it little bit for the legs upper side
do it this red with the neck little bit two three times just a touch up one two three you are going to just a touch up like this and just leave it do it like this leave it and do it one more time somewhere of the down side of up down lines here down side of the stomach anywhere no need to feel the red color just you are going to take a touch up part Now here we are taking light blue color standing lines like this Now downside, we are going to feel again this light blue very lightly in a standing way, like this. this border of downside and do it standing lines downside again i'm going to say feel the color in a standing way downside like this pink dark blue color and just a outline of this heavy lines from downside i remember for the big first you are taking black sketch pen seal the top corner with the black sketch pen like this a thick line here with the black sketch pen After that we feel yellow color for the big for the eyes just give a dot with black sketch pen or see 